Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and this is going to be the first of a series. Here we're going to be talking about scroll view and the recycler view in Android. So the scroll view is a subclass of the frame layout, which is basically a view for horizontal and vertical scrolling of another view. Like I mentioned, it's a subclass of the frame layout, and this basically implies that it can only have one child at a time. Here we have a regular layout, linear layout, with three child views, so it has three children. The first two are your common text views, but the third is what we are concerned about, and that is the scroll view. The scroll view has one child, as I mentioned, which is a linear layout. And the linear layout, which is the child of the school view, can have as many children as you decide. In another example here, we have a very similar layout, two text views and one school view. But here, our school view has one child, just like in our first scenario. But this child here is a text view. So here we have a linear layout containing two text views. You can have as many as you want, like a list. But here we have one text view which can have so much content, like you would have in a news app or when you have an article. Cool. So let's switch over to Visual Studio. And yes, so I've created an application, a an, a project for purpose of explanation cool so let's try to replicate what we have in our slide we have two text views and a scroll view we had a linear layout but i'm going to use a constraint layout because that's just faster we constraint to the top let's give it a constraint of 16 dp And we can also constrain this to the bottom of the first text view with a margin of 8 dp. I set this to 0 so it is properly centered. Cool. So another thing I would like to do is set the width of this text view to match parents match parents yeah and the height to wrap content that's cool in that case we can have margins to the left and right of 16 dp cool we can take rest of the rest in text mode Android Studio lets you have this very cool preview of your layout files as you could. So what I want to do is set the text alignment to center so that you can have Text properly centered, yes. Let's set the text size of C thirty XB. Mm -hmm. I like to set is the background. Let's set it to color primary and finally text color to white cool I'll just I'm just going to copy all of these configurations here so that we can have something very similar in our second text view then I'll take out the color Which is the text size? Take out the 
text color. Yes, and that looks cool. Okay, I want to make this 8 dp. Just close that there. All right, we can proceed with this, I believe. Finally, I'm just going to sorry go back here and then bring in our text, our school view rather. You can get that on the widgets. Nope. Come on. Okay, we have it under common. Otherwise, I think you can get it under containers. Yes. So we have our school view. The first thing we want to do, like, as always, is add our constraint top and that's horizontal and vertical. Let's give this a margin of 8 dp. Just to constrain this. Okay. It's constrained both to the start and end of parent. The width is set to a value there, but I'm just going to set that to match parents. The height, let's give that a value of 200 dp. Remember to add your, your margins. Start. Sixteen DB. And end sixteen DB. perfect so another thing i would like to do is okay android studio has gone ahead to introduce a child of the school view you can see here we have a linear layout this linear layout can contain as many views as we please so i'm just going to put in text views match parents App content text set text of, of text so that's our first text view. But I want to replicate this so many times. Just to show you that we can have so many views. Inside this linear layout. So the linear layout. The single child of the school view. So I have my emulator running. I will just I'm just going to run this app so we can see what it looks like. Great, this is what we have. Okay, there is no scrolling effect there, that's probably because we don't have enough text views. So I'm just going to copy more, paste. Let's see what happens now. Cool, you can always, you can already see from here that we have this scrolling effect here. But I'm going to reload that in our emulator so we can actually see for ourselves. Okay. 
so you can see it's now scrollable okay i wonder what's going to happen if we have we add another view directly in our scroll view layout appearance app contents doesn't even matter how we do it as you can see we already have an error here intelligence is telling us that a school view can only have one child so just going to comment out all of this our initial linear layout oh that's a lot of text you need to take out any so that's how cool this looks smaller so I'm going to end my comments here. If you're new to the concept of comments, comments in programming is basically helping you. It's 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 a tool that lets you impute write-ups or codes in your general program file that you do not want to run. For instance, if you want to describe something or put notes that will help you remember what you are trying to achieve, you just do that with comments. So you see, text view to describe school. children so anybody that looks at this code now can easily understand what i was trying to achieve because of the comments here you can also use it to take out code that you're trying if you're trying to debug and find out the source of a problem or you're trying to whatever you're trying to achieve comments is a very very useful tool in programming to make comments in XML files, layout files, we use this opening angle bracket here, followed by an exclamation mark, two hyphens, and that is the opening comment tag there. And to close the comment, to end the comment, we use two hyphens followed by the closing angle bracket. Okay, back to what we're doing. So now we have a text view as the child, the only child of our scroll view. And I'm just going to set text to have a random text here, but for now, keep that blank. The layout with let's set that to match parents so that it occupies the whole of the scroll view text here I just want to have some random text <laughs> pardon my English oh, copy that Yes, so if I go ahead and reload this in my emulator, you can see we can scroll through this text. So this is perfect for an article. If you have a long article, you use the scroll view. So that's all for the Android school view. Let's go back to our slides. Yes. So moving on to the recycler view, the recycler view is a type of list view. In fact, it is just a fancy list view, but 
it has a lot of usefulness in Android development because it is very memory efficient. I'll explain that in a moment. So the recycler view, like any list view, can be used to display large sets of data that you want to scroll. You want you would like to scroll through. But the recycler view is very efficient in maintaining the number of views that you have and you have to recreate. For instance, this is a very simple example of the recycler view. And we, as you can see here, we have a lot of text, a lot of data that we would like to display to the user. The inbox, app, the Gmail application is another example of the recycler view where you have numerous number of emails that comes in to your email. If you are using a list view or you are using a simple scroll view to di display this data, you agree with me that you're going to create a lot of views. You're going to have a lot of views as you scroll through. You're going to continue continuously create views that you may never use again or it's going to take a while for it to come back to those views. So what the recycler view does basically is creates this number of views that you, you require as well as a couple others of views and then it is able to reuse these views so as you continuously scroll through instead of creating more views what the recycler view does it changes the data that is displayed by this same view that basically describes the recycler view come with me to the next video and we'll be going in depth into the android recycler view Thank you.